guys and welcome to today's tea party that you all requested and I'm actually very happy to finally do the video about my top favorite tea perfumes especially after I've already done a video about my top favorite coffee fragrances and I would like to know if you are a tea lover or a coffee lover please comment that down below but since so many of you are interested in my tea favorites I decided to check if I have some in my collection and the reason for that was basically because I'm quite picky with my tea perfumes because in a lot of times I find those fragrances are too leafy and green for my liking but I was surprised to discover so many tea centered perfumes in my collection that I am very excited to share with you especially because they all smell so differently and that is what I love about my top lists that are about certain note because I like to keep them diverse and give you as many different options as possible but of course as always I would love to know your favorite tea perfume please comment it down below because I'm actually thinking about do a second part of my tea favorites and to know your favorites or just perfumes that you are interested in would be surely very useful Anyway, if you are here for the tea, then please keep on watching. And here's the thing, guys. I actually think that tea is the most popular drink around the world, isn't it? Is it just me? Of course, coffee is the number one. I got it, I got it. You shouldn't scream at your screen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of course, coffee is something that probably more people drink than tea. I'm from Ukraine and there we always have a cup of tea with something delicious after we had a meal. That's sort of a tradition and I drink tea daily and I'm very picky with my tea just as I'm picky with my tea perfumes. So today I swear by all tea perfumes that I will share with you. And even though everybody in my family loves coffee, I don't get it. Like, I like how it smells, but I don't drink coffee. I am a big tea drinker and lover, and I drink tea every single day of my life, and I like to mix my teas and uh, drink different teas. And uh, that's why I also like different interpretation of tea note in Fury. And I want to start with something light and effortless, and that is of course, Earl Grey and Cucumber Cologne by Jo Malone that I bought this summer and that was a very successful buy. Basically because this is amazing for summertime when you don't want a heavy perfume on you. It smells like your skin but better and in my opinion it's a great interpretation of the most famous English tea because of the bergamot in there that creates that uh, Earl Grey tea effect but it's very fresh very 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 fresh and has a bit of a powdery veil that surrounds the tea and you know how much I love powdery stuff in here we have hint of vanilla and beautiful beeswax really skin like musk and uh, every single time I have it on my boyfriend compliments me on the way I smell and I really enjoy his attention when I wear that perfume so that's why I would recommend you Earl Grey and Cucumber if you're looking for everyday daily tea pleasant olfactory experience. If you're looking for something more mainstream, I could recommend you famous green tea by Elizabeth Arden, which I used to wear in my teens because my friend gifted me that one for my 16th birthday. However, I'm not madly in love with green tea from Elizabeth Arden because it is a bit too green and clean and crisp for my taste, but if you're looking for something affordable, something that will be light, something that would bother you throughout the day, I would recommend you that one. You can easily find it in all perfume shops. But now let me tell you about something way more special and that is Macaque by Zoologist, which was one of the first perfumes I've ever tried from this brand and it is created by Sarah McCartney, whose signature I enjoy anyway. And watch this. Wow! 
Wow, every time wow when I smell this perfume. And here is a deal. It's very green, okay? But it has lots of bright, juicy fruitiness going on in there thanks to the green apple twist. And every single time I smell it, I have a feeling that I see my crush. Because you know, when you have crush on somebody and you see that person, your heart goes like, mm every single time and we can experience that feeling when we smell perfumes because of associations and i'm not sure with whom or what i associate macaque actually i have a wow every single time wow when i smell it i have a feeling that i'm transported to india i drink fruity tea in india and watch monkeys having fun in the greenery it dries down into some very pleasant musky honeyed apple-like tea and I think this is one of the best tea perfumes ever. Very fun, very strong. And I don't understand the dislikes on Fragrantica on this one, because in my opinion, that is a real green tea crush. And with that being said, we are moving on to the next green tea affair of mine. That was one of my first loves of SP Perfumes that is also called green tea. And here is that uh, type of an iced tea aroma infused with uh, super powerful citruses. So it's rather cold, it's rather fresh, and by the time when all the other tea perfumes have already disappeared from your skin, this one will stay strong. It's cool, very refreshing, energizing, and unisex, perfect for the summertime, and watch that sprayer. Ooh, I love this seamless distribution of the scent. Wow, so refreshing. It's like boost of energy and you are awake. Smells healthy and like uh, iced, cold, fresh tea. Speaking of healthy tea, let me tell you about Trillium by the House of Matriarch. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you know that Christy Mashall's uh, signature touch is very special and I was very intrigued by this fragrance that should capture the spirit of the Lucy Great White Trillium Flower and this is one of the most successful blind buys in my life and I'm so not disappointed with this extra herbal tea scent that invites you to the tea party in your garden where you pick some plants and flowers and even the woods to make your own tea. It smells very healthy, smells like herbal tea, but at the same time it has that beautiful spring aroma that reminds me of um, the beginning of the spring when you are in your garden and you just uh, watch your flowers and the trees to awake after the long winter sleep. And it's quite long lasting too crisp and um, bright. I really like that one, which is also unisex and smells natural and herbal. But if you're wondering, Jan, what's the best tea perfume that you would recommend? It should be mass appealing, but at the same time, it should be enjoyable to wear. And I would say go for Tea Escape by Mason Margiela. But I won't tell you that. And do you know why? Well, the sad thing about you is that you <laughs> are discontinued. Guys, why on earth they would stop producing one of their best perfumes? I don't understand. Miss Margiela, can you explain? I don't know. That one shouldn't be discontinued. Anyway, we have what we have. But this is definitely one of the best green tea perfumes I've ever smelled. Because here's the deal. It smells of tea, but at the same time it has a hint of powdery mint in there. Bergamot that always accentuates tea element and then just a light, light, almost feathery, florency and milky rice powder that I am all there for. You know, it's so good. Milky, floral, green, comforting, refreshing, pleasant, even elegant, so beautiful and discontinued. You know, as I was getting ready for this video, I went to Douglas to smell it and guess what? I didn't find it there, so I went to Sephora, and guess what? It wasn't there. So Yana went all frustrated to an exclusive niche perfume boutique, and man who worked there told me it is discontinued and gifted me this tester bottle. And when he did that, me and my boyfriend we were shocked because of that generosity. So I'm a lucky one 
who owns this absolutely marvelous, beautiful, absolutely mind-blowing, one of the best tea perfumes ever. So if you want to own it, definitely hurry up because, yep, it is discontinued once again all our favorites. But speaking of milky tea perfumes, let me tell you about best gourmand tea and that is my friends, of course, Twice the Tea by Poesy perfumes, which is actually a discovery of the year for me, because here is a deal. I really enjoy a combination of two notes, such as vanilla and lavender, and in Mongerlon that is done correctly. And I've been looking for more perfumes with that notes combo, so if you know some, please share them with me in the comments. But Twice the Tea is something out of this world. Picture beautiful black tea infused with lots of milk, with lots of vanilla syrup, but at the same time it has some hints of lavender. So it's dark tea, very creamy, like extra creamy, you guys, it's super creamy, very milky, very creamy and sweet because of that vanilla and at the same time there is powdery hints of lavender, all calming and beautiful and this is so comforting that it will make every foggy cold rainy day so way more joyful just as a cup of tea would do so you know this and tea your best friends and it's so affordable and so long lasting i mean like this uh, you would thank me if you'd buy it so yeah just saying just saying very very safe uh, gourmand tea blind buy and there are not a lot of gourmand tea scents so yeah, just saying. And let me tell you about the last but not least fresh tea scent, which is Darjean Lean Tea by Jo Malone from their tea collection. And when it was first launched, it was announced as limited and I was so smitten with it. Basically, the whole collection is just amazing and I want every single fragrance from it, but I have two. And this one, Darjean Lean Tea, smells of white flowers and tea note is rather imaginary in there and it basically makes me feel like I am having a beautiful tea afternoon on my balcony smelling floral and green air. Yeah, it smells very, very inoffensive, beautiful, actually pleasant, very pleasant. And I can wear it all year long to work um, on casual days and it's mass appealing and great 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 not overly tea like so it's quite perfumey and all about flowers best white floral tea and the second one that i have from the collection is oolong tea and let me tell you oolong tea is super delicious and so is this fragrance that is definitely the most sensuous tea scent i know it's super warm it smells like warm tea with oriental woody facets you can experience such high quality tea only in a high quality tea cafe or shop where it is served so beautifully you could cry and you can smell some woody furniture and leathery sofas. I don't know, like this is so warm, perfect for colder days, unique. I mean, like I've never smelled perfume like it and I smelled so many fragrances. And once again, I will repeat the most sensuous unisex warm perfume great i love you i love you you are worth my money and by the way i try to go through these perfumes as fast as i can so if you have some questions regarding mentioned perfumes please ask in the comments i'd be happy to answer all of them and also check out the description box for more helpful information and with that being said let's move on to some darker tea options and one of them is royal gray cologne by dsh this is one of her newest all botanical perfumes and this one is so so spicy you guys that sexy ultra spicy sandalwood is quite a bomb right in the opening so it's sexy it's sexy spicy but when it calms down only in the dry down i can smell the tea element which is gorgeous for sure and i would say if you're looking for something with wood something that will smell very perfumey and not like necessarily tea right in your face something warm sexy and spicy basically if you're looking for a very very hot tea perfume that's the dsh one 
Do you remember I've told you I don't find uh, tea perfumes elegant? Well, I know one tea perfume that smells ultra luxurious, and that is Modern Normand by the niche brand State of Mind. And actually, all their perfumes are inspired by different kinds of tea. And this one is not necessarily all about tea in the first place, but it is about amber patchouli rose oud leather. How does that sound? I think it sounds amazing. It smells so luxurious, just as expensive as it looks. By the way, this bottle, it's extra everything. And that hint of tea makes it unique. So it's not like all the other rosy, woody, woody patchouli perfumes, but you can definitely rock it at the most posh event you can possibly imagine and people will definitely notice that you smell special. So if you're looking for very expensive tea perfume that looks as expensive as it smells, that is modern nomad for men and women and I like to wear it when it's dark. You guys, something that is quite uh, a beast. Yes, this is a Russian tea by the niche Italian brand Maschi Milano. And for me, this is Milan's signature, even though it is inspired by the Russian tea. And it smells like something heavy and at the same time light. Basically, it is about minty tea with splash of raspberry jam peppery twist and lots and lots and lots of leathery, smoky birch wood in the base. So this is something wintry, this is something for a special occasion, this is something for grown-ups who are looking for charismatic wooden leathery tea and beautiful contrast of mint and raspberry. Very long-lasting and will be appreciated by men and women, however I would say it will suit men a bit more, even though I really love it on myself too. You guys, the time has come to reveal my number one favorite dark tea perfume. And some of you might know what that is, you can even guess it in the comments. But for those who don't know, here it is. It is O Unknown by Imaginary Authors. And the reason why I love it so much, and it is my favorite, is because it is black tea with lots and lots and lots of orris butter. And orris butter is one of my most favorite notes because it's dusty, powdery and buttery. And in here it's presented in all its glory. It's dark tea, it's very deep, rich and mysterious. It dries down into modern musky scent with some mossy finish and even balms. But in the first moment it is dusty, powdery and smells, ah, oh, smells? like some dream, the dream of yours that sh you should dream about on a very windy rainy day because that's the best time to wear it. And that completes this video. Now, as promised, I will tell you my top five that I would recommend you to try. Number one would be Earl Grey and Cucumber Cologne by Jo Malone because it's effortless and easy going. The citrusy one for summertime is Green Tea by SP Farms. The Gourmand Twice to Tea with powdery vanilla and beautiful fresh lavender mixed into creamy dark tea is absolutely fantastic. Oh, and Macaque with that fruity aspect and oh unknown and oolong tea and uh, Russian tea. Oh my god, there are so many, I can't even pick and decide. So I would like to know which of these mentioned ones interest you the most, that actually is something that I really, really want to know. And I would like to hear your feedback on today's video and of course your favorite tea perfumes. Check out the description box and if you enjoyed watching this video, please like it, please share it and of course subscribe and ring that bell for future videos and request the next top list about your favorite perfume note. I'm looking forward to chat with you. Thank you so much for being here with me today and stay tuned, smell good. We'll see each other in my next one. Bye guys!